Welcome back to Z Runs, your channel for all things Resident Evil. Today we're diving deep into the evolution of combat in the modern Resident Evil remakes. Specifically, we'll be exploring how the gameplay in Resident Evil 2 and 3 remakes set the stage for the incredible combat system we witnessed in the recently released Resident Evil 4 remake. Let's jump right in. Resident Evil 2 Remake, released in 2019, marked a significant turning point in the series' gameplay mechanics. Capcom successfully reimagined the classic survival horror experience with a fresh coat of modernity. One of the most notable changes was the introduction of the over-the-shoulder camera perspective, replacing the fixed camera angles of the original. This shift in perspective not only increased immersion, but also had a profound impact on combat. Combat in the remake is relatively slow and methodical. The gameplay loop values thoughtful shooting and strategic resource management. Enemies are relatively slow and absorb a lot of damage, so players are forced to decide when, where, and what enemies to engage. In Resident Evil 2 Remake, combat became more intense and dynamic than its progenitor game. The addition of a quick turn maneuver allowed players to swiftly evade enemies, creating tense moments as you narrowly escape the clutches of the undead. The improved aiming mechanics and the ability to shoot while moving added a new layer of strategy to engagements. Building upon the foundations laid by its predecessor, Resident Evil 3 Remake released in 2020 and further refined the combat system. The inclusion of the dodge mechanic empowered players with a risk-reward option during combat encounters. A well-timed dodge could grant a precious moment to counterattack or create distance, but mistiming it could leave you vulnerable. It also gave us a greater number of environmental objects, such as explosive barrels and power generators, increasing the intensity of combat. This added a tactical element to battles, allowing resourceful players to gain an edge by exploiting their surroundings. While the core combat mechanics feel very similar to Resident Evil 2 Remake, small tune-ups to combat allowed for a much greater enemy presence. Where Resident Evil 2 didn't, or couldn't, swarm you with zombies, Resident Evil 3 Remake's new mechanics granted players greater strategic depth for thinning the hordes. But there is a Resident Evil Remake that takes this on-screen enemy presence and turns it up to 11. Fast forward to 2023, where we've witnessed the release of Resident Evil 4 Remake. This ground-up remake of the iconic 2005 game not only recreates the beloved story and atmosphere, but also brings the combat to a whole new level of perfection. The combat in Resident Evil 4 Remake can be described as essentially flawless. Resident Evil 4 Remake builds upon the advancements of its predecessors, offering refined controls, smooth animations, and precise aiming mechanics. The combat encounters are intense and strategic, requiring players to carefully manage their resources and exploit enemy weaknesses. Whether it's the satisfying impact of headshots or the visceral close quarters combat, Resident Evil 4 Remake truly showcases the pinnacle of the series' combat evolution. One of the standout features in the aiming mechanics of Resident Evil 2 Remake and Resident Evil 3 Remake is the implementation of Reticle Bloom. This mechanic adds a layer of tension and decision-making to combat encounters, setting these games apart from most other over-the-shoulder shooter games. Reticle Bloom refers to the time it takes for an on-screen reticle to become pinpoint accurate. When you first aim your weapon, the reticle is relatively large and imprecise. However, as you hold your aim, the reticle gradually shrinks and tightens, indicating that your shot will be more accurate and result in increased damage. The concept of reticle bloom introduces a risk-reward dynamic. Players are forced with a crucial choice. Do they shoot immediately, accepting a wider reticle and potentially wasting ammunition? 
Or do they exercise patience and wait for the reticle to become pinpoint accurate, resulting in more damage and a higher chance for critical shots? This mechanic forces players to consider their ammo management and the level of precision they want to achieve. It adds a strategic element to encounters, as you must weigh the benefit of waiting for the reticle to tighten against the threat of enemies closing in. In Resident Evil 2 and 3 Remake, the reticle bloom plays a significant role in managing resources effectively. If you take your time and wait for the reticle to pinpoint, you can conserve ammunition and increase the likelihood of critical shots that can quickly dispatch enemies. On the other hand, if you find yourself in a desperate situation, you may need to shoot immediately. Accepting a wider reticle and potentially using more ammunition, but less time, to save yourself. It's worth noting that the reticle bloom mechanic is present in both Resident Evil 4 Remake and the earlier remakes. However, in Resident Evil 2 and 3 Remake, the bloom takes significantly longer to become precise compared to the 4 Remake. This difference in timing adds an extra layer of pressure and decision making, as players must be mindful of the time it takes for the reticle to tighten and adjust their strategy accordingly. Resident Evil 4 Remake takes the combat experience even further, offering variations in bloom speed among different guns. Laser-sighted guns in particular maintain pinpoint accuracy at all times. This level of customization allows players to choose the gear that fits their unique playstyle. Whether they prefer a more methodical approach, waiting for precise shots, or a faster, more aggressive style with quicker shots. Furthermore, Resident Evil 4 Remake focuses on granting players freedom in how they approach combat, including the ability to create a perfect weapon loadout that matches their style. Unlike Resident Evil 2 and 3 Remake, which did not have a sophisticated weapon upgrade system, Resident Evil 4 Remake introduces an expanded upgrade system. This allows players to enhance their weapons, improving aspects such as firepower, reload speed, and capacity. The addition of a sophisticated weapon upgrade system in the 4 Remake not only adds depth to the gameplay, but also rewards exploration and resource management. It enables players to personalize their combat experience by selecting upgrades that align with their playstyle ultimately providing a sense of progression and empowerment. But the enhancements in Resident Evil 4 Remake go beyond just aiming mechanics and weapon upgrades. The game introduces several gameplay evolutions that set it apart from its predecessors. For starters, Leon is noticeably faster in the Resident Evil 4 Remake. The increased movement speed allows for greater mobility, whether it's to avoid encounters altogether or reach a more strategic position for combat. The enhanced speed also adds a new layer of tactical decision making, as players can assess the situation and choose the best approach. Another notable enhancement is the knife system. While knives in Resident Evil 2 and 3 Remake would wear out and disappear, in Resident Evil 4 Remake, Leon can repair his combat knife. The combat knife can also be upgraded with increased damage and durability. This new knife system presents players with a deeper combat experience. They must decide when to use the combat knife for maximum damage or when to conserve its durability for crucial moments. The introduction of other utility functions for the knife, such as stealth kills and escaping enemy grabs, further expands the strategic options available to players. But perhaps the most revolutionary gameplay evolution in Resident Evil 4 Remake is the parry system. Leon can now perform parries with his knives, deflecting incoming enemy attacks. From punches to thrown axes, almost everything can be parried. Perfect parries, executed within an extremely precise window of time, stun the attacking enemy, allowing Leon to follow up with a knife stab or melee attack. The parry system adds a whole new level of strategic depth. 
players must make a split-second decision to parry or risk taking significant damage. It not only enhances the defensive capabilities of the player, but also rewards precise timing and skillful execution. The thrill of perfectly parrying an enemy's attack and turning the tables is truly exhilarating. Resident Evil 4 Remake also introduces a refined melee system, something completely absent in the Resident Evil 2 and 3 remakes. Stunning enemies with a flash grenade or a well-placed shot to the knees or head triggers a melee prompt button, allowing Leon to unleash powerful kicks. This further increases the depth of strategy as players must decide whether to engage enemies up close for a melee kick or maintain distance to use firearms. Lastly, Resident Evil 4 Remake abandons the upgrade system found in the 2 and 3 remakes in favor of a currency-based system. Players obtain currency known as pesetas from fallen enemies and environmental crates. This system introduces even more choices about a finite resource, forcing players to decide how to spend their pesetas. The currency-based upgrade system adds another layer of strategy, as players must choose what to prioritize. Upgrading the handgun for quicker dispatching of enemies, or focusing on the shotgun for dealing with bosses more effectively. The decision is unique to each player's preferred playstyle, providing a sense of agency and personalization. What truly sets Resident Evil 4 Remake apart is the immense freedom it grants players to choose their own playstyle. While Resident Evil 2 Remake and Resident Evil 3 Remake had a certain playstyle that was encouraged, Resident Evil 4 Remake expands that freedom immensely. Every single mechanical change promotes greater player choice, allowing players to engage with combat in a way that suits their preferences. In conclusion, the Resident Evil remakes have brought us a remarkable evolution in combat mechanics. From Resident Evil 2 Remake's intense and dynamic encounters, to Resident Evil 3 Remake's inclusion of tactical elements, these games set the stage for the incredible combat system we witnessed in Resident Evil 4 Remake. Resident Evil 4 Remake showcases flawless combat with refined controls, smooth animations, and a precise aiming mechanic. The gameplay refinements, such as the enhanced knife system, parry mechanics, and the refined melee options allow players to embrace their own playstyle and make choices that resonate with their preferences. As we've explored the evolution of combat across the Resident Evil remakes of recent, it's clear that Capcom has continuously pushed the boundaries of what's possible in survival horror gameplay. Each installment has brought its own innovations and refinements, delivering unforgettable experiences for horror enthusiasts. I can't wait to see what refinements Capcom achieves in their next titles. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the evolution of combat in the Resident Evil remakes. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to Z-Runs for more horror content. And as always, stay tuned for more spine-chilling adventures. Thank you for watching.